One, Chula Vista Mayor Mary Salas highlighted the city successfully handling the pandemic in her annual State of the City address. Mayor Salas, join us right now. Mayor, I want to apologize for in the tease, mixing you up with another prominent mayor in the South Bay. I have my apologies. In my hand, I am holding your speech from last night. I just read it. Tell us about uh, the time that went into it and what you were trying to achieve with it. Well, I wanted to communicate to the residents of Chula Vista exactly how much work we did and how we adapted to the COVID crisis so that we can ensure that we provided the best of services that we could to our community. So it was a list of all the initiatives that we undertook, the work that all our departments did to get us almost through this. We, we still have a pandemic. We still have to encourage everyone to get their shots. Mary Sal, uh, I don't, Mayor, I don't think there's a, a handbook on how to deal with a pandemic, is there? I mean, a lot of this you were just kind of gut instinct, right? Well, it was more than gut instinct. We had a tremendous uh, staff and we activated our emergency um, response or uh, center um, early in February. So we were the first city in San Diego County to actually... Um, impose a mask mandate and we did it with good reason we knew that the south bay was going to be particularly hit hard with the pandemic and we wanted to make sure that we ensured the safety of our residents as much as we could well this is your forum i wanted you to give you a chance to perhaps with people who didn't see the speech last night go over some of the things that you're most proud of oh wow i think that i'm most proud of our collaboration and cooperation with um, the county of san diego in establishing uh, a testing site several testing sites in the city of chula vista as well as with sharp hospital opening the the super center the the in, um, vaccine super center at the old sears building and um, vaccinating over fifty five thousand people in that site uh, uh which is an incredible accomplishment. Uh, Mayor, as I'm sure you're going to find out, it's one thing to get the money spigot turned on and, and to get money flowing. It's quite another to turn that spigot off. How do you propose that as we return to normal, you uh, get back to normal spending patterns? Well, actually, you know, we've been very judicial with um, our budget and our budget is really quite sound. Um, better than we anticipated because of increased uh, sales tax revenues because people were doing so much shopping and investing in their homes since they couldn't travel. So the budget was pr in pretty much good shape. However, you know, the stimulus money that's coming in, we have to make sure that it gets out the door and to the right people. That's a key, the right people. So, um, you know, we're going to continue with, um, you know, putting a, a sending out social media messages, especially to those businesses and those community members that you, a lot of times are not in the know and they don't even know to apply, for example, for rental assistance, for small business grants and loans. So um, we are really activating our staff. We're working with uh, community outreach people to make sure that everyone is aware of that stimulus money that's out there and that we judiciously um, handle it, and be, you know we're we're trusting that the, you know we're uh, having trust within the spending pattern, and so um, you know we fully anticipate that things that we've done during the past two years to get us on a fiscal sounding uh, foot that that will continue. Mayor Salas, you mentioned that you were w one of the first to issue mask mandates. Now, as we're coming out on the other end of this, when do you envision lifting those mandates and, and relaxing the pandemic guidelines, in your view? Well, we are following the CDC guidelines. And so that means that um, if you have been act vaccinated and you are outdoors away, uh, six feet away from people, you don't have to wear the mask. But, you know, um, I continue to wear the mask even though I've been vaccinated because it's good modeling, right? Um, community members are not going to do the, the right thing uh, by wearing the mask if they see their politicians not doing the same. So um, we are relaxing things. Um, for example, today we're opening several of our recreation centers that were shut down. Our community really needs that.
Um, so we're opening uh, four recreation centers and um, opening our libraries uh, to limited people coming in, of course, but we want to make sure that we continue to serve our people and that our community members have full, full uh, enjoyment of all our city amenities. And finally, Mayor Ellis, what's the one thing that you've learned as a political leader in time of crisis? Well, I've learned that um, we have some terrific staff and community members. You know, we couldn't have, you know, trudged through this without the cooperation of our community. Um, you can mandate things, but if the community doesn't trust that and they don't, um, they don't follow those those guidelines, then it's for naught. So first of all, our community was awesome about staying disciplined, and I hope they continue to stay disciplined. The pandemic's not over. We have to make sure that people get the shots. And if there's any hesitance in, hesitancy, I suggest that those people that have doubts to talk to their primary doctor about what's going on with the vaccine and the benefits of getting it to protect their families. Chula Vista Mayor Mary Sal Salas, thank you very much for making time for KUSI at this uh, hour at 7.30 in the morning. We wish you a safe day.